Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to get the Mongo connection string. First, I am going to the mongodb.com. Now I click try free. So I am going to give my details here. I just click create your atlas account. I got an email and I verify my email. I just click continue. It takes some time to load this one. For the onboarding process, they are asking some questions. What is your primary goal? I just click learn MongoDB. How long have you been developing Sophia with MongoDB? More than a year. The second thing is getting know your project. What programming language are you primarily building on MongoDB with? And JavaScript. So what type of data will your project use? I just click not sure none. Will your application include any of the following architecture models? I just click. I just put microservice. That's all. And I just click finish. So now I need to choose the cluster. So for the testing purpose, I am going to choose the free one. So if you are running your application in production, so you need to change your cluster. So I choose the free one and the cluster name. So cluster zero is my cluster name and the provider is Amazon. So I keep it as it is. So I am choosing the region. So I am currently living in Sri Lanka. So India is near to my country. So I can choose this region and I just click create deployment. In the initial setup, it is providing the username and password. So I just close this one. I don't want. So you guys see, this is under project zero. The cluster name is cluster zero, which we created before. And I just click connect. Here you can see the first one is at the connection IP address. And second one is create a database user. I just click this one. So this will open in a new tab. So for the testing purpose, what I am going to do is, so this is added my IP address, current IP address so in this case what I am going to do is I just click add an IP address so in here I am going to choose allow access from anywhere and confirm whoever sending the request from this username and password they can able to access this database the main thread in this application anyone can access but in this case if you can able to get your servers IP address if you add your own server IP address here then only that server can able to access this database with that provided username and password so that's all and i just click uh, again i just back to this pop-up and i need to create a user i just put user one and password i just put some random text here and i need to serve this one i serve it somewhere else now i click create database user so after I provide the detail, it is asking choose a connection method. I just click the connection method. So here there are some different type of connection method here. But in this case, we are going to use connect to your application. Then only we can able to get the connection string. So I'm choosing the first one. And here they have mentioned some of the things like a driver version and install some of the instruction. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I just copy this text and paste it in that I just click done okay now I back to my Google Doc and here you can see this is a user one is a password so you can see so user one is mentioned in this place so secondly this password so I just this is the exact password I copy it and paste it inside of this password you can see so I just paste it right so this should be like this okay so now this is your mongo connection string okay this is my project i paste this string here i have pasted this mongo connection string i am going to run this project so my pc is having some configuration issue that's why i type sudo so in your case you can directly type npm run dev so you can see mongoose connected so this is coming from this log so i have installed the mongoose right npm install mongoose after that I use the mongoose connect and so in the environment variable I am having the mongo connection string and this is the exact lock after we getting from the connection so this is working fine guys if you want any consultation or any app development based on the whatsapp API especially the whatsapp cloud APIs so you can go to my YouTube page and click the let's connect so if you want a consultation you can use this link to book so if you want any other information, you can send a connection request in the link and you can directly talk with me. And that's all guys. And if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe. And thank you so much.